Hey, good people. It's your girl, Christina here. I'm coming to you guys. I wanted to uh, come and talk about a, a scripture. And the scripture I wanted to come and um, read was uh, Ecclesiastic 7, verse 9. And it says, do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. Um, last night, well, yesterday I was having a rough day. After watching the video, I took a walk. The video of the young guy getting gunned down in Atlanta, in Georgia, in um, I don't know what part. I don't know if it was Atlanta, but I know it was down south. And um, that bothered me because I'm just like, enough is enough already, you know. So I took a walk, and my day was going smooth. My mind was getting back right, and I get home. And for those who don't know, my mom is sick, and um, she's dealing with a lot of diabetes issues and stuff, and um, I've been, I got a few calls, uh, telling me about my mom and stuff. The thing is the calls that I get from family members and stuff, uh, certain people call and they get frustrated with me because I don't give the reaction that they're looking for or they're seeking, or I don't respond in the way that they want me to. Oh, I don't react in a way that they want me to. And I'm like, that's, that's, that's cool. You know, I can't control what people uh, thinking the things that they desire, that part I'm cool with. I, I'm not, I can't please everybody and I'm cool with that. You know, my typical response and I mean it from my heart, I trust God with my life. So I trust God with my mom's life. You know, I can't go in the hospital right now doing to quarantine my mom in a whole nother state. Her husband called, he can't even go there, um, and, you know, be in the hospital. So I'm like, it's nothing I can do but trust God with the situation. But, you know, people want you to react in ways that they're not even reacting. So I'm like, that's cool. But, you know, I get a call and um, the calls, you know, she was basically talking about my mom's situation. And I was just like, well, you know, I trust God. You know, I trust him with my life. I trust him with my children. I trust him with my mom. Um, it's it's nothing. I, I'm not understanding what it what is it that I'm supposed to say to make. I can't please people. I, I I'm not in the business of pleasing unpleasing people. But that wasn't a thing that got me to be provoked. It was that the call, the person just kept pushing me, and I kept standing in position and I was disciplined in the call. However, when the call ended, that's when I became a complete fool. Like I, I just was like, you know what? I was already feeling agitated in my soul from earlier. And then I allowed a situation to um quickly provoke me in my spirit. And according to Ecclesiastic 7, 9, it told me do not be quickly provoked in your spirit. For anger resides in the lap of fools. And I was the I was acting a fool according to the scripture because I um as a Christian, as a woman of Christ, and to operate in the body of Christ is to operate within the Holy Spirit. And to operate in the Holy Spirit, it requires discipline. And if we're so if we're so quick to get angry. Then that that puts us at a place where the enemy comes in and starts to try to plant seeds because anger it opened up a portal for the enemy. The enemy is he's everything that's evil. And when you you you're quick to get angry, angry is like you know you put it you put the key in ignition, you crank you cranking it up because if I'm angry, then now I can I start speaking disrespectful. Then I speak disrespectful. Then I make. Tap into doing something disrespectful, something harmful out of my anger. So I understand why God say, do not be so quick to be provoked. Don't be so quick to, you know, allow somebody to provoke you into anger. And um, anger, uh, it, it dwells in the heart of a fool. Because if if you if you if you know the enemy job for myself, if I know the enemy job is to come and seek, kill, and destroy, I know the enemy is everything of evil, and I know. So I know my own buttons to be pushed. So I called I called somebody yesterday that I know who loves God and they loves me. So I called her and um 
I was like, I need a way out. I need a way out right now because God, his word says he wouldn't put too much on us that we can't bear. And even though he would still provide a way of escape, because I'm like, I'm keep being pushed and I'm like, God, I'm about to say some stuff. That, and I'm a woman about mine. If I say it and I know it wasn't right, I'll come back and I apologize. But I'm like, God, I'm about to say some stuff. And he put this person on my heart and I called her. And it's amazing how she blessed me and, you know, reminded me of God's word and who I am in Christ. Because I'm, I'm just like, Lord, I'm about to lose my cool, right? You know, and she reminded me the discipline of it. And she reminded me so much that she knew that uh, I was aware of and things that I wasn't, you know. So I bless God for people that's uh, in position, you know, when other myself and other Christians are out. You know, um, it, it, it just amazed me how God is such an awesome and amazing God because when he told me in prayer, when I got home later that night, um, last night I got home and I prayed, and in the, my prayer he told me to read a scripture. And I'm like, okay, read the scripture that's not a problem. He like, no, read it to the people. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Not a problem. So he was like, you do that. And I'm like, no problem. So I'm like, well, in my mind, I'll go to my typical easy scripture that I know I stand on, I lean on. He like, nah, not that one. I'm like, well, then where we going? Then I get here. And I'm like, really God, after I just had this moment, like not even 24 hours ago, then you want me to tell these people about, I was like, you know what? God is such a funny God. That's what I love. And I serve him like I do. However, but I um wanted to come for real though. I wanted to come and um not just bless you guys with this scripture and give somebody some understanding of that scripture because um it just literally I lit literally was this scripture yesterday. I was real uh easy to be provoked. Like I said, I showed discipline in one moment, but then I let it go. I really did. I I, I, I allowed anger to sit in my heart. And I was a fool. According to the scripture, I was a complete fool. And I know better. I know better because uh, walk operating in the body of Christ, I have to display discipline. I can have joy. Like the, um, my sister told me yesterday, you can have joy even while they provoking you, Christina. And I'm like, my, like everything she fed to my soul, it was like my soul was just like, getting it and loving it and I was just so blessed because I I strive to be better I I do I I want to be a better Christian because if I'm not a better Christian then who am I who can I pull out of a situation who can I inspire who can I uplift who can I encourage if I'm not trying to be a better me you know what I'm saying and by no means it doesn't make somebody think they're better for those who like to toss that word around um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's what it is. I, 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 I acknowledge that I wasn't operating in a uh, space that I should have been because I, I clearly, clearly allowed myself to easily be provoked. And I know better than that because I, I do have discipline. I just allow myself to be provoked. And if you find that to be you, that you are easy to be provoked all the time, like every time you turn around, you provoked in a grocery store, you provoke while you're driving, you provoke while you're at work, you, your kids, everything is just provoking you. I definitely would encourage you to uh, begin to pray to God more. Get wrapped up in your words. Start reading the scriptures. If you have to start with the book of Ecclesiastics, it's not a big book. And it's a really good book. Um, start reading so God can start exposing some things inside of you. And the Holy Spirit can ta start teaching you how to be disciplined. You don't want to go around popping off and um, reacting to everything in a negative manner. That thing will start sitting down in your heart and it become a part of your personality. It becomes what you speak out. And that ain't what you want. So I believe that's why God... That ain't, it's, Believe that's why God tells us in uh, the scripture is Ecclesiastes 7, 9. Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit for anger resides in the lap, laps of fools. And this is the NIV version. I think that's why God tells us that. Because if we walking around angry and we, we easily to be provoked, we are a clear, easy target for the enemy. The enemy will come in and have a field day on our anger. Be I remember before I wasn't saved. If I can just think back to before I wasn't saved, and I was easy to be easily 
to be provoked, easily provoked. And um, it got me in a lot of trouble. I allowed my anger to take me places that got me arrested, to take me places where people was hurt, all kind of stuff. So, you know, if I can be disciplined and sin in peace, even when somebody coming up against me, even when I know they wrong, even when I know they poking, I could just dismiss myself and like, just let them talk to they blue in the face. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I respect your opinion. Yep. I, mm-hmm. I sure do. And I trust God with my life. So I'm gonna trust God with this. Yeah. I understand you feel that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if you have to, like my sister told me today, if you got the scripture your way out of the situation, then you do so. Don't allow nobody to steal your joy because when they come, somebody's coming to provoke you, and somebody's coming to poke at you, and somebody's coming to do that. They, they, it's just a trick that the enemy's using them to come and steal your joy. That's all he's trying to do. He's coming to distract you and get you all focused. Because if you angry, you ain't thinking about God's per You ain't thinking about God's stuff. You ain't thinking about what God told you to do early. You ain't thinking about none of that. You ain't thinking about prayer. If you angry, you you thinking about the anger and how you dwelling on trying to retaliate or how you dwelling on things you want to say. Anger sets in. The enemy comes and he start playing around. So. I just want to come and encourage you guys on today. Do not be quick to be provoked. Provoke. Do not be quick to anger. Do not be quick to anger. Is another scripture that tells us be slow to uh, be slow to speak and quick to. Uh, oh Lord, did I say that wrong? Be slow to anger. <laughs> oh Lord, help me, Jesus. Y'all bless my somebody pray for me. I, I will pull up the scripture. I will pull up the scripture. I will pull up the scripture. So I won't t- twist it up for you guys. Um, but yeah. Um. Be slow to anger. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. Okay, it say James one nineteen. Let me pull it up. I'm sorry. I told you I'm not a biblical scholar, good people. But give me one second. James one nineteen. James is a good book too. Uh, my sister Tiara turned me on to that book, and she never lied. It was real good. Um, James one nineteen say, "My dear brother and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry." That's what it's at. Thank you, Jesus. Technology is amazing. It's good stuff in technology, but um, yeah. Uh, so just just don't allow people, even if you're not sure what people's intentions are, you know that the enemy comes to seek, kill, and destroy. So just just know that God word tells us in Ecclesiastes 7, 9, that we should be uh, slow to be provoked. We should not allow ourselves easily to be provoked. And uh, being provoked, I'm sorry, and, and anger resides in the lap of fools. So... I hope that uh, shed some understanding to that verse. Um, I hope that my situation gives somebody understanding of uh, how to conduct yourself in, in discipline and not step out the will of God because somebody frustrates you or somebody um, provoke you because that's what the enemy job is to do, to get you to step out the will of God, right? So um, by knowing that, and it's not easy. It's really not because I'm telling y'all, I, I was a complete fool according to Ecclesiastes 7, 9. I was a complete fool yesterday, honey. I ain't going to disrespect nobody because I, I got tired of when I was a uh, babe in Christ. I got tired of going back and apologizing. I'm like, uh, like when I read God where it if you wrong somebody, you go back and make it right. And I'm like, if I apologize, because it's like they come come for me and then I go back harder and then it's like oh lord I ain't had to curse that lady out so now I gotta go back and apologize and be like okay look I'm sorry for when I said this that and the third but the foundation of what I say I meant I just didn't have to say it in that way and I mean you know I, that's just type the type of woman that I am but I got tired of doing that so I had to learn discipline I was like okay how do I stop and that's when you know God you know I had to discipline myself I had to Get out of my emotion and move out of my way. But yeah, so um, don't allow people to come and tweet stuff and say things and provoke provoke us to cause us to be quick to anger. God tells us to to uh, 
show discipline in those areas. You know, people going to say things they don't like. God, Jesus was a perfect, perfect, perfect example of how they accused them of things and uh, lied on him and all kind of stuff. And he, he wouldn't be moved. He would not be moved. They like, aren't you this person? He, he just stood there. He, he, he ain't had time for all that other stuff because he had, he, he stayed focused on his mission. He stayed focused on his goal. He didn't allow other people's and the naysayers and the, the, uh, peons and the imps that work for the enemy to distract him. So I hope somebody got blessed by that scripture. Um, again, that scripture was Ecclesiastes 7, 9. Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit for anger resides in a lap of fools. God bless y'all good people. God bless y'all. And, um, I pray that y'all enjoy the rest of this weekend. Y'all enjoy this weekend, even though we still quarantine. Y'all stay prayed up. The situation about the guy getting gunned down. Um, I seen the latest news was the rest was made, but continue to pray. Y'all continue to pray, continue to pray. These people not going to give us the things they, they, they these people just not going to give us some stuff that, you know, we desire based off just tweeting about stuff. God is in control of everything. It's nothing God can't do. And it's nothing God won't do for his people. If we seek him, Seek his kingdom and righteousness. He will add these things unto us. Keep praying. Keep praying for justice. Keep praying for comfort and peace of the families of not just him, but everyone who's losing their children out here in the street. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand racism. I mean, I understand certain parts of racism, like the, uh, just the foundation. I mean, I, I get how they treated us back then and our ancestors and stuff. My thing is, I just don't understand why a group of people are so angry at another group of people that they oppressed. I'm just like, what? Like, that just don't add up to me. But, you know, that's a whole other video. <laughs> you know, God bless y'all, good people. Keep praying. Continue to stay safe during this quarantine time. This too shall pass soon. God bless y'all, good people. Until I read y'all another scripture, maybe tomorrow, because I, I think I have to do it daily at this point. But God bless y'all good people, and y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.